I'm Jeff Stout, Captain Paramedic, Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department, and this is Report on Conditions. This week, we'll take you to a commercial vehicle that drove off Interstate 15, and California Highway Patrol shares their school bus safety tips. Hi, and thanks for joining Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. I'm Rob Rosine. Last week, from August 8th through August 14th, our firefighters responded to 3,774 calls for service. This included 2,858 medical emergencies and 128 fire-related calls. Of those calls, 35 were vegetation fires and 18 were structure fires. Let's dive into a few highlighted incidents from the past week. On Tuesday, August 9th, Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department firefighters, in cooperation with the U.S. Forest Service, responded to a vegetation fire off Wilson Valley Road in the community of Luanga. The first arriving engine company reported two to five acres burning with a moderate rate of spread and an immediate structure threat. Over time, firefighters contained the fire to three and a half acres, protecting five homes and one outbuilding in the process. One firefighter was transported to a local area hospital where they were treated for minor injuries. No civilian injuries were reported. On Wednesday, August 10th, firefighters were dispatched to a vehicle collision on I-15 North near the Dos Lagos Drive off-ramp. With assistance from Corona Fire Department, firefighters were able to quickly extinguish the flames. No injuries to civilians or firefighters reported throughout the duration of the incident. On Thursday, August 11th, firefighters received reports of a vehicle fire near Jackson Street and Airport Boulevard in the city of Coachella. The first arriving fire engine confirmed that a commercial vehicle was on fire with a threat to nearby palm trees and power lines, prompting a resource request for two additional fire engines. After about 45 minutes, the incident was mitigated with no civilian or firefighter injuries. Later that Thursday on August 11th, firefighters were called to a semi-truck that drove off Interstate 15 and landed on the Belgrave Avenue overpass. The first arriving engine confirmed the driver would need extrication, so a request for a truck was made. The patient was transported to a local hospital and treated for minor injuries. On Saturday, August 13th, firefighters received multiple calls of a vegetation fire in the area of El Toro Canyon and Lindale Road within the community of Good Hope. The first chief officer on scene reported two acres of annual grass and brush burning uphill with a potential for up to 30 acres. A significant resource order was placed for aircraft, crews, and dozers. In a coordinated effort, ground and air resources kept the vegetation fire to two and a half acres, with only one structure destroyed in the process. One patient was transported by air to a local area hospital with serious injuries. No fighter injuries were reported throughout the duration of the incident. In the early morning hours of Sunday, August 14th, firefighters responded to reports of a fire in the area of Box Springs Road and the 215 freeway. The first arriving units reported two individual fires about an eighth of a mile Park, running along the railroad tracks. Throughout the duration of the incident, the railroad was temporarily shut down for the safety of firefighters. The fires were contained within 30 minutes and crews remained on scene for an additional hour to perform mop-up. No civilian or firefighter injuries were reported. Later that Sunday, August 14th, firefighters arrived at a well-involved residential structure fire at the 7400 block of Cobble Creek Drive in the city of Eastvale. Fortunately, all occupants were out of the structure when the first engine arrived. Firefighters used an aggressive initial attack inside the structure and eventually switched to a defensive strategy due to the roof collapse. Four occupants were displaced and one firefighter was transported to a local hospital with minor injuries. On Thursday, August 11th, firefighters received reports of a leak from a rail car near Harville Avenue and Oleander Avenue, north of the city of Paris. Paris. The first arriving unit confirmed that a railroad tank was expelling vapors, prompting a hazmat response to be dispatched to the scene. An evacuation order and closure of both directions of Interstate 215 and the rail system were implemented to protect the safety of nearby residents. Late Friday evening, Unified Incident Commanders determined the contents of the rail car to not be an imminent threat to travelers on Interstate 215 and reopened the freeway. All evacuations were eventually canceled the morning of August 13th, and the incident was officially terminated and transitioned to the landowner early Sunday morning. The Riverside County Fire Department is currently enrolling volunteer reserve firefighters and other vital volunteer roles. Whether you want to start an exciting career in the fire service or just want to serve your community, visit rvcfire.org to find out more.
School is back in session and the California Highway Patrol wants to make sure our students stay safe. Let's see what valuable information their team has to share on school bus safety. Hi, I'm Officer Ian Hoey with the California Highway Patrol. I'm riding a school bus today in El Dorado County and I'm going to give you a few school bus safety tips. When you're driving through a school zone or approaching a bus stop, use extra caution because kids can be unpredictable and may suddenly step into the roadway. Kids, when waiting for a school bus, maintain a safe distance from the curb, stay in a visible area, and wait for the bus driver to open the doors before stepping on. When riding on the school bus, remember to stay seated while the bus is in motion. Always listen and be courteous to the bus driver. Camera, please show some paper on the bus. And remember to keep your hands and everything else inside the windows. Don't pass a school bus when it's stopped and the red lights are activated and the stop sign is extended. The stop sign is there for a reason. You're required to stop by law and not pass the school bus until the red lights are turned off. Never use your phone while driving and keep your eyes ahead of you. You don't want to be responsible for an accident or even worse, injuring someone. We hope these tips will help keep our kids safe and remind everyone to be a more diligent driver. Hi, I'm Travis Mojica, firefighter at Hemi Ryan. This is Did You Know? As a health tech firefighter, one of our jobs is to perform rescues. Uh, to perform those rescue operations, we have an ensemble in which we have to dress out. Starting with our white helmet, communications device, our two-up rescue device, and our hell attack hot seat. So Firefighter Luda in here now is going to show us how to properly deploy the hot seat. My question is, uh, how are brush fires off the freeway and you know in populated areas typically started? Brush fires off roadways in populated areas are typically started from faulty equipment. That could be a faulty catalytic converter, improper maintenance on your vehicle, tires not being proper air pressure, having just faulty equipment, no exhaust on your vehicle whatsoever. It could also be from a careless toss cigarette. That's going to do it for this week's report on conditions. To stay up to date on current incidents as they happen in Riverside County, be sure to follow at CalFireRRU on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Did you capture any footage or pictures of our firefighters in action? If so, please send them our way at rrupio at fire.ca.gov. On behalf of your Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department, Public Affairs, and Community Education Bureau, I'm Rob Rossine. Thanks for watching. <laughs>